Nearly a month after she and her son were shot in their home, Judith Blair isn't only thankful for life, but wants her attackers to know that all has been forgiven. She has called on the community to use her as an example that there is life after pain and sorrow, and the only way to beat the crime wave is to bring Christ back into the equ equation. Well, you know, I know Ferguson has that story. Retired COB professor Judith Blair entered the Harry Seymour Library with a renewed spirit and a message of forgiveness. This after she and her son were gunned down by robbers in her home several weeks ago. What happened to me, some say it's a tragedy, I say no. It's an opportunity for a turnaround in this nation, for God to be glorified, because those people out there who perpetrated crimes, they need to know that God loves them. And when we forgive them, then we have an opportunity to move on. I would like to meet the people who came to my home to violate me, to let them know I love them, I forgive them, and it's okay. She came out today in support of COB presidential hopeful Rodney Smith. She recalled what happened on the day that her life was almost cut short. She also had a strong message for criminals. I took look, the gunman in the eye and told him I forgive you, but you need to get out of my house and go because I'm not not getting down. I'm in no way afraid. People ask me, would you go back to your house? I say, that's my house. No one's going to run me out of my house. And so I want to speak to the criminals out there and say, surrender your arms, trust God, and say you're sorry, and let, let us heal this nation. Blair sat with her son, Peter, who says he too has sought forgiveness and does not want revenge for those who inflicted pain. He says one of the things people must do is celebrate the positives in life. I think if we can look at somebody like her and say we celebrate you because of your service, we celebrate you because of how you've invested in our children, then that can send a message to our community and to our young children that what we celebrate in the Bahamas is people making a productive contribution to our country. And so you and the media have a great opportunity to really change the narrative and to be able to play a role in terms of creating the expectation that what we will celebrate in the Bahamas is, is productive activities that go towards developing a stronger nation. A 22-year-old man from Fleming Street was charged with three counts of armed robbery, three counts of attempted murder, and one count of receiving in connection with the robbery and shooting of Judith and Marvin Blair. Marvin, we're told, is still recuperating but doing well. Janae Noel Ferguson, Zadness Network News.